Okay, she's uh, all back together again, and as you can see, turns very smoothly when this arm is in the unlocked position. Okay, that's unlocked. She's turning smoothly, and that's the way she's supposed to be. That way, when she's unlocked, you have a, you can turn your steering wheel without interfering with the remote. Okay, now look on the back side of this. That's your arm right there. Okay. And you can see that I countersunk that screw so it wouldn't interfere with the thing. There is another adjustment right here. If at all possible, don't play with that thing. Make sure it's in the all the way back position, just enough to let the little black plastic wheel turn freely. Don't play with that unless you absolutely have to. That's kind of an emergency type deal because it doesn't add a lot of tension, but it'll add enough where this thing will not spin, fr spin freely. It's spinning real nice. Now once I lock this in the lock position, I'm pushing the arm down, as you can see, I got this wrapped in cloth so don't mar up the motor. And now I'm going to go to my little handy dandy power box, turn it on, and look at it. Ain't she pretty? Just spinning pretty as can be. Very smooth, no issues, no problems. That's it. Another one fixed. Say goodnight, Mel.